We've done it again, mate. We're doing another bonus. Bonus episodes. How good. It's just, you know, just something to tick over the interest of yeah. the Mooney Valley Friday night group ones. But this edition, I reckon it's probably the best that we've seen since we've started the pod. Yeah, it is. It's a cracking race. Lots of chances. Uh, and yeah. Friday night group one racing. I'd love to be at the track one day, actually. We should do that. Oh, especially before they redo it. So it's 180 meter um, straight, but it's going to about 380 meters. Cool. I didn't know that. So they're basically redeveloping the whole track, what it looks like, but the amphitheater style um, grandstand staying. But I do want to see the valley for the valley. Yeah. You know? Sharp corners. But yeah. No, we'll put that on the list, mate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, we're just going to preview the William Reed Stakes, um, do it quickly uh, because we have a bit to dissect for our main podcast for the week, which hopefully that goes forward. But (laughs) yeah, William Reed Stakes, mate. How do you see this one playing out? Well, mate, there's a ton of speed. Who leads here? Um, Pippi. I reckon, yeah, Pippi Ancestry maybe. Uh, they've confirmed they're taking him to Mornington. So oh, he's, he's not even running. He's not running. Well, there you go. Uh, I know Bella Vella's dual acceptor as well. Uh, unsure, yeah. Well, Pippi definitely leads then. Uh, provide a good pace. Will it get challenged up front? We'll see. But um, yeah, for me, when I'm looking at Mooney Valley, I always see, I make sure I look at who's already raced there before and who's done well. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, got hey doc who's a dual group one winner at the track ancestry well he was an absolute <laughs> gun at the track uh pippi she's one at the a group one at the track i'm pretty sure um and then brooklyn hustle absolutely thrives around the valley loves the valley uh and then you've got uh, some of the younger horses portland sky and swats that who've only had one run there but won it so yep. what does that tell you don't know yeah, <laughs> they can get knows? around it, but how's the quality of the races? Who knows? Um, I think there's a clear on top selection in this race, and I'd be shocked if you didn't have the same horse. Libertini, first up in this race. She beat Classic Legend first up last yeah, prep. She sure did. Um, she's five from seven on a good track, which it will be at the Valley. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she's been racing against far better opposition than this previously. Yeah. I think she's right in the game. Yeah, first up, she's an elite horse. Um, yeah, I, I don't have her on top, but wow. she's in my numbers. That I've, shocks me. Yeah. She's your girl. What's she done? Oh, she hasn't done anything wrong. She's done She's done nothing wrong to me. But um, there's something else that I, that I like here at odds. I think it's genuinely over the odds. Um, down the bottoms, what's that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I really liked his two runs this prep. Third, first up in the uh, Lightning Stakes, uh, and then a fifth in the New Market. Watch the replay of that, and she was just fighting on the whole time. But because she drew, I think barrier seventeen or eighteen, she was right at the edge of that pack that split off to. If you're watching it on the left hand side of the screen, uh, and she just sort of got moved every time the pack moved. So I don't think she really enjoyed that run too much, but she's a fighter. Launches out of gate four here. I think Mooney Valley, as you know, mate, first probably five or six barriers is really where you want to be. Uh, so I think she launches out of that, gets a good run. She'll be right in the finish. I think she's really over the odds. So maybe she'll finally get the chockies over September run and three-year-old fillies, mate. <laughs> she's treated pretty well at the weights. Uh, I think a few other horses aren't. Uh, Portland Sky, who won me a Group 1 recently, gets another six kegs on the back. I don't know about that. Yeah, wait for age. I don't think he's go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I found I found uh, what's that as well. Um, yeah, exactly same notes. She was just in the bad part of the track. You look at Flit, uh, Brooklyn Hustles, what's that? Um, they all drew the outside and they that all the winners came from the inside, which is the complete opposite of about the last six months of racing at Flemington. So... Um, yeah, she was. she's in my numbers as well. But yeah, I think Libertini will be too classy for mine. Uh, I've got her on top. Tommy Berry flies down from Sydney to ride. Huge, huge I noticed tick. that. Yeah, yeah, big tick. So it's good to see that the jocks are actually uh, flying in between states now. But I had spots that running second. And I can't leave her out. 
Brooklyn Hustle running third. She'll run a good race. She could storm home. She's actually drawn well now. She has. Yeah, she has. Barrier seven. So she doesn't have to get right so far back. She can sit middle of the pack. Yeah. yeah. The, the bad thing about Brooklyn, as you know, is she just needs a lot of luck. Yeah. I don't know if she'll get it here, but um, I've got Swatsat winning. I think Libertini, yeah, classy horse. I think that's the key danger. And I think, hey, Doc's a key danger as well. Launches out of that barrier, proven at Mooney Valley. Mm. Treated pretty well at the weights. I think he'll run well. Yeah. No, Way for Age is definitely his go. Um, did hear that apparently the stable was a bit concerned that he's just not um, as fresh. Right, oh, okay. Sorry, not as fresh, not as wound up as they'd like him to be. Okay. Um, so I think he might need another run. His grand final's the Goodwood in Adelaide this prep. So, um, but yeah, plenty of other chances in the race. But yeah, short, sharp. Yeah, mate. 14 bucks. That's good odds. Yeah, That'd be is. nice. Mate, spots that. I think, yeah. Interesting that we both have gone around September run. Yeah, not here. Don't mm. know. Yeah. I just... Oh, the three-year-olds are just... Yeah, I don't know. It's... I just think they're bang average. And spots that. Big tick for her. She can camp right behind the speed. She's proven at the valley. She's run really, really well there. She likes a hard track. Johnny Allen on board. You don't see him ride 54 kilos that often either. No, you don't. Um, and with September run, I think $5.50 is too short. She hasn't run at Mooney Valley before. Barrier 12 is not a good draw. Despite her going back, I think she's going to have a ton of work to do on a pretty short straight. So, Yeah, no, fair enough. Cool. Well, we'll see you and you'll be listening from us really soon because we're doing Golden Slipper Day at Rose Hill after this. Yeah, boy. <laughs>